welcome to my live stream. So tonight I am just going to test a bunch of samples I've been saving up. I'm just going to wait for some people to come in before I start doing that. Hi, Flame Gamer 12. Thanks for coming. I am going to be trying a bunch of makeup samples on my face tonight. I'm good. Thanks for asking. How are you? I'm just going to wait for a couple people to come in before I start putting the makeup samples on my face. But I've already done my eyes because I didn't have any eyeshadow samples or eyebrow um, product samples to test. Oh, good. I'm glad you're good. Is that Pikachu on your little profile picture? Because if it is, that's awesome. So I'm just sorting through the samples really quick. Uh, that's a blush primer. 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 That's awesome. Okay, so I have four different primer samples that I could try out. I have the Cover FX Blurring Primer, and it is supposed to blur the appearance of pores and fine lines and is for all skin types. Hi, is it Stephanie, best friend in your thread? I'm just trying a bunch of samples and I was going to have you guys pick out which primer sample I try. Um, so the first one was, okay, it is Stephanie. Cool. The Cover FX Blurring Primer. And then the next one is the Hourglass Veil Primer. Hi, Will's World Media. Thanks for coming. And then the It Cosmetics Serum Collagen Veil Anti-Aging Primer. Hi, Justin. Yay, I'm so glad you came. So I'm just going through my primer samples so you guys can pick out which one I use. So the last one is the NARS Smooth and Protect Primer. So we have the Cover FX, the Hourglass, the... It Cosmetics and the NARS. Anybody got any opinions on what one I should try? No? Okay, well, it sounds like they're all pretty similar, except maybe the anti aging one. Cover FX? Okay. We'll try the cover FX. Oh, it cosmetics. Oh, it's a tie. It's a tie. Can someone break the tie? <laughs> Maybe Will's World or Justin, can you break the tie between cover FX and it cosmetics? It cosmetics. Okay. Thank you. I have never tried an anti-aging primer before, so this is exciting. Woo! It's like a creamy formula. It looks like like a moisturizer almost. And it does have a scent to it. It's like a citrusy scent. <laughs> Pikachu gonna win, dang it. Pikachu wasn't cute enough. Uh, I think I got way too much product. That's okay. We'll just keep rubbing it in. It feels really nice. Like, even though it has a fragrance to it, it's not irritating my skin. And usually... Stuff with fragrance irritates my skin. Yeah, it's a good scent. It, I don't know, I think it smells like a clean perfume, like a clean citrusy perfume. 
Hi, Lynn. Thanks for coming. We're just testing some samples. Okay, I think I got it all absorbed. So the foundation sample I have is the Fenty foundation, and I have the shade 210. I got it as a, like a deluxe sample from Sephora. This little bitty bottle right here. Thank you, Lynn. Oh, uh, I wouldn't say it's very silicone-y. Um, I would say it feels more like a moisturizer type of primer. Um, you know, those primers that are really hydrating and soothing and more feel more like skincare. Okay, is this going to be a good match? I don't know. What I'm wondering is if it's anti-aging, if it's going to help with, like, the sinking in my forehead or not, or if it's just going to treat it. Okay. Let's start with two pumps. So that's how much you get with two pumps, and it's pretty liquidy. I know the Fenty Foundation is, like, old news, but I've never tried it. Hi, LG Enterprises. Thanks for stopping by. And I'm going to try applying half my face with a brush and half my face with a sponge and see how that goes. I think I've never tried it because it's more of a, like, matte, foundation for oily skin and I have more dry skin. Hi kitty, thanks for coming. I'm just trying some samples. So right now I'm trying the Fenty foundation sample that I have in the shade 210. And I think it's an okay shade match. Not perfect, but not terrible. And maybe, maybe a little yellow. I don't know. But it's blending okay with the sponge. Oh, what do you guys think? I think it kind of is just sitting on top of my skin and it looks a little yellow. I'm going to try it with a brush with the Sigma 40 HD Kabuki. It does have really good coverage, though. Like, all this redness is covering it up really good. It's weird, though. I think it has more coverage on the side with the sponge. It's usually the opposite of that because the sponge absorbs product. But I think you can still see redness and see my bruise from the champagne bottle. Like, it's lighter coverage on the side with the brush than on the side with the sponge. That's so weird. Yeah, Stephanie, I can definitely make this color work with, like, bronzer and all of that, but it's not a perfect match. But... I'm just baffled that the brush is a lower coverage than the sponge side. It's crazy to me. But I think two pumps is good. I don't think I need any more. Hi, Chef. Thanks for coming. I'm just testing some samples. So right now I'm trying out the Fenty Beauty Foundation. It's the Pro Filter, I think it's called. Let's just see if it's 
it's already creasing into my forehead lines. I don't know if you can tell on my webcam, but it's already settling into those lines. Uh, I don't have a new concealer to test, so I'm just going to use my Age Rewind. Because I want to see how stuff blends on top of this foundation. And you know what, let's highlight the face with this too. So how's everybody doing tonight? It looks great so far. I'm on the fence so far about it because it immediately settled into my forehead. But maybe it's the primer. I'm trying a new primer too. The Age Rewind, Stephanie, is one of my favorite concealers of all time. I definitely recommend it. It's not a super like high coverage. It's more of a medium coverage. But it's very hydrating and... I really enjoy it with my dry skin. I'm doing good me. I don't know what that means. But I'm glad you're doing good. I just don't know what the me means. And then I'm going to see how cream contour blends on top of it and... I'm going to do the same thing where I'm going to use a sponge and a brush. I forgot to do that with the concealer, but I'm going to do it with the cream contour. And I don't have a sample of that, so I'm just using the Milani contour and highlight stick. Mm, might as well do my nose. The only sucky thing about the Age Rewind um, is the applicator soaks up a lot of the product, so you go through it really, really fast. I like to have a light, like a lighter color under my eyes, so that's why I like to use a separate product rather than use more foundation. Okay, so sponge on this side. And in case anyone was wondering what sponge this is, this is the L'Oreal Beauty Sponge. It's not removing anything, but it's a little bit harder to blend out. It's still kind of in a line there. It's like it dried down and sucked it in. Okay, let's try the forehead. What are you crying about? Sorry, my dog just started whining. Hi, Mix Legacy. Yay, I'm so glad you came. I'm just trying out samples, and right now I'm trying... So far, the IT Cosmetics um, Serum Collagen Anti-Aging Primer and the Pro Filter Fenty Beauty Foundation. And I'm using my Milani Contour Stick to see how it blends on top of it. So now we're going to do the brush blending side. Blends a lot better with a brush. It blended a lot easier. That was so quick. Is it Lacey who's here tonight? Vacation was amazing. We went to a little mountain town called Glenwood Springs and 
we went on this amazing hike up the mountains to see this lake. And did I do my, yeah, I did my jaw. And we went to this adventure amusement park. And, oh, we went to the hot springs. Yay, it is Lacey. Yeah, so it was really fun. Okay, I forgot to blend my nose. <laughs> that would look funny. Let's blend my nose. Well, products are blending on top of it. Great. It probably doesn't help the settling of my forehead that I'm always going like this. Okay, and I do have um, a liquid highlight to try out by Becca, the opal one. So I'm going to do that before I powder. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And I also have the powder and cream versions of it, but I think I'm just going to try the liquid and then try the powder and do the cream later. Ugh, why is this so difficult? Why is this so difficult? <laughs> you do that too? <laughs> okay, I'm not the only one. Uh, I never really use liquid highlights, so I'm not quite sure what I want to do. I'll try applying it with a sponge on this side of my face. Oh, that's that's a lot. Um, let's pick some of that up. Oh, that's nice. Where do I get samples? I usually get samples from Sephora and Ulta orders that I place. They tend to send like three samples at least and I just save them to you know do this and you can also get deluxe samples with your Sephora orders with special codes they have that a lot but that looks really nice thank you it is the um distortion palette from Urban Decay that was from like holiday 2017 I think or yeah maybe I think it was holiday 2017 and it has all these like dual chrome colors at the top hi Greg thanks for coming Okay, so now let's try blending that with a brush. So let's get a little bit of this on a brush. Oh, too much again. You gotta like it blended better with a sponge, but both of them blended nicely on top of the foundation. So, <laughs> you're drunk. Well, it is a Saturday night. Uh, I mean, I can't say I've never been drunk on a Saturday night. Let me just go over this with the sponge to kind of get the same look. Okay, there we go. So now I'm just going to powder and I'm going to use the NYX Banana Powder on my under eyes to brighten and set my concealer.
I'm just looking and seeing if it, like, grabbed weird or anything. And it looks okay. So then I'm taking my mineral veil from Bare Minerals and setting my entire face. <sighs> Another drunk get ready with me. Uh... <laughs> I, I could do that, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if I should do one so soon. I mean, it hasn't even been six months, I don't think. Oh, I can definitely do a round two. I just don't want to do it too soon. Hi, Sam! Welcome! Thanks for coming. Yes, you are in the right place. We are testing samples. So far, I've tried out three samples on my face. And that highlight, actually, even though I just powdered over it, is still, like, really vibrant. So that's awesome. Hi, is it Kira? May? Kira May or Sira? Hi, BTD. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Um, okay, so what What next? Um, oh, I forgot before I powdered, I have this liquid blush sample. But oh, well, let's see how it goes on top of powder after I bronze. Everything is uh, good so far. The foundation is not a perfect shade match, but, I mean, my skin looks really nice, I think, besides the creasing in my forehead. Okay, it's pronounced Kira. Got it. I'm sitting here in my apartment that is 90 degrees. My AC is out waiting for the AC coming. That sounds awful. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So I'm just going to bronze really quick. I'm going to use the Gourmand Girls Soft Safari Bronzer. Um... Because even though it's a sample, I've never used this. This is brand new. I just bought it. So I want to see how it works. And it's a really, really light bronzer. Like, really light. You have no power, BTD. Do you want power? I can give you, I can give you power. You're welcome for getting your name right. I, I, I try. I'm not the best, but I try. Did I, did who blush? Give you power. Okay. All right. So I'm going to bronze really quick. See what I think of this gourmand girls bronzer. Ah. I don't know that it's showing up. It might be too light. Oh, no, I didn't put on blush. I said I was going to bronze first. I have a blush sample, though, that I'm going to try. <laughs> you leveled up. This might be too light, at least for this time of year for me. Let me layer it a little bit. I don't, I don't really see anything. Can, can you guys, can you guys tell that I have bronzer on this side? I, I mean, I can maybe kind of tell. <laughs> yeah. He was chatting your ear off. They're good at that, distracting you when you need to be paying attention. Oh, this doesn't look like bronze to me. Um, I'll try the other cheek, but I might pull out another bronzer and just layer it on top. Uh, 
Um, I think this is like too pale for me, at least this time of year, because I kind of get a slight barely tan. Okay. I'm going to grab my darkest bronzer to fix this. This is Becca's Bali Sands. Looks like this. <laughs> Shh, I'm watching something. <laughs> okay, so let's let's fix this. And this is still a really light bronzer, but it actually shows up on my skin. Hi, Jen! Thanks for coming! I'm just testing some samples tonight, and so far I have tested the It Cosmetics Collagen Serum Primer, the Pro Filter Foundation, and the Becca, where'd it go? A Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid Highlighter in Opal. And... I still got a few more samples to try. See, now I look bronze. Look at that difference. Oh my gosh, you guys, BTD and Sam, you should try this, yes. Cleaning out closets? <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun, actually. I love decluttering. Yes, I do want to put false eyelashes on Sam. I think he would look so beautiful. So far, uh, the primer, I it felt nice and soothing, but I don't know that it's actually done anything um, as far as, like, smoothing lines or anything because the foundation is still settling into my forehead lines. So I, I'm not super sold on the primer the foundation has nice coverage but weirdly it has more coverage with a sponge than with a brush and the highlight i think is really really pretty but i don't think i'd purchase it because i'm just not into liquid highlight yeah so so now i'm a bronze bitch and i'm good to go and we can do blush so this is the NARS Orgasm Liquid Blush. Okay, and this is what it looks like. It's really liquidy looking. So, hmm, I'll do sponge and brush again. Yes, read read the label. It says orgasm. Orgasm. Makeup names can be really dirty. Hi, Ben. Thanks for coming. Okay, so I'm just going to... Which side? Uh, I'll do the pointy side. Just dip a little bit into there. That's really pink. <laughs> That's really pink. <laughs> Let's just blend that as best we can. That looks really nice, though. It blended really well. But it's so pink. Like, normally I don't go for super pink blushes. <laughs> I'll try blending even more and diffuse it more, Jen. I'll see if I can. Yeah. Hey, gentle. Sorry, my dogs were playing too rough. There, I think that looks nice. Now it's not so pink and intense. Let's try it with a brush. 
I'm not sure what brush to use. I don't, I don't, hold on. I'll try one of these. Uh, I think maybe this one? We'll try this one. Okay, I'm just keeping up with the chat. Oh, Jen, it's actually purple. My eyeshadow is purple. Um, it really complemented my bruise before I put foundation on. Uh, I, I really, for like liquid highlight and liquid blush and all that, I prefer a sponge. Uh, so no, you are not the only one, Stephanie. Okay, let's just get a little on there. So I don't have very much. Let's see how this goes. Uh. <laughs> this is such a weird process of blending, like putting the product down and blending it out. I, I don't know how I feel about liquid blush. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's kind of healing, kind of getting to that stage where it's like going all green and, guys, enough, going all green and weird looking, like, you know, the part where it gets worse before it gets better. Kira, just because you don't wear makeup doesn't mean you don't have eyes and know what looks good and what looks bad, like, you can still give input. I don't think it's leaving brush strokes, Stephanie, but sometimes with liquids that can definitely happen. But this stuff is fairly nice, but I don't know. It's just not blending out quite as easy, and it's a lot more intense on this side than on this side. Bye, Brad. Have a good night. Thanks for coming. Oh, thank you, Ben. Thanks for putting that link in there. So I'm just going to keep blending. But this is a really nice, like, you can have it be really intense or a little more natural. This is a nice liquid blush. So if you were looking to splurge on a liquid blush, I'd say this is a good one. I can't speak for how long it lasts, obviously, because I just put it on. But so far, so good. And it's blending on top of powder. This is on top of powder, and it's not grabbing or removing product or anything like that. That's okay, Sam. Take care of yourself. Have a good night. Thanks for coming. Okay, so I'm going to take a sponge and continue to keep blending until these are an even intensity. Yeah, you can still, even under the foundation on this side, see the bruise right here. So it is definitely way less coverage on the brush side. Oh my god, it's called, <laughs> it looks like you had a great night and are glowing and it's called orgasm, you guys. Oh my gosh, Jen, speaking of the perversion mascara, I, I'm in this makeup group on Facebook and one of the girls after it came out was like, I tested if it was sex proof. It's not. <laughs> yeah, because the per, or not perversion, it was the troublemaker, the troublemaker mascara they said was sex proof. And this girl actually tested it and told the whole group it's not sex proof. 
Oh, thanks for putting that link in there, Ben. Okay, I think they're an even intensity now, but I like, I might buy like one shade if I find a shade I really like. This is a little, a little pinky for my taste, but if they have a shade that I like in this formula, I just might get it. We'll see how long it wears tonight. <laughs> how rough of sex are you having if your face makeup gets messed up um maybe they're just a really sweaty person they could just be sweating a lot and it could not be sweat proof it doesn't necessarily have to be rough sex it could just be sweaty sex yes Kim Possible, that sound is my text tone or my notification sound, so Twitter, whatever. Uh, uh, I was going to try the Becca Powder Highlight. That's what I was going to do. So same shade. It's opal, and I've tried Becca Highlighters before. I like them. I just have not tried this shade. What kind of sex are you having if you give a crap what your makeup looks like? I like you. I like you. Okay, so I'm going to take a brush because it's a powder, so I don't need to worry about sponges. And just layer it. Whoa, put it on my cheek. Layer on top of the liquid. Hi Corian, thanks for coming. Yeah, I have I have the liquid on already. I'm just layering the powder on top, but I don't like it. It looks like a dark stripe on my face right now. Like the side with just the liquid does not look like a dark stripe. But do you guys see this dark stripe? What? It's supposed to be like a light champagne shade. That looks totally a dark streak. Gotta make a match though. Gotta put it on the other side. So opal is not the shade for me. Good to know. That's okay, Jen. We're all adults here, I think. I think we are. What is the blush that's making it a dark stripe, you think? Because, no, th like, that's that's the highlight. Like, <laughs> Thank you, Lacey. Thank you. I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see it, but to me, it's coming off as a dark stripe and looks kind of like a bruise, and I don't like it. Um, but I'll put it on the rest of my face, too. <laughs> yeah, get a bouncer at the front door, Ben. You can be my bouncer. Yes, it's definitely very blinding, Jen. It's definitely very blinding. It's just too dark for me. Like... Even on my nose, it looks dark. Okay, so I have some lip stuff to try out. And you guys can pick. I think, I think this is it. So I have the L'Oreal Infallible Paints. Like a card with three different colors. And then I have a Tardis lip paint card with three different colors. So either one of these. L'Oreal Tarte. 
And while I'm waiting for those votes to come in, I am going to test the Bite Agave Lip Balm sample that I have. And it is, oh, it's a scrub and a lip balm. So I'll scrub my lips, I guess, while I wait for you guys to vote between Tarte and L'Oreal for my lips. And then you can help me pick a color, too. Is that Tarte a berry mauve? Uh, I, I'm not sure. I'm bad at describing colors, but that's what they look like up close. Ew, a skunk just sprayed in your window? Or not in your window, but sprayed in your window is open? Oh, that's the worst smell. Okay, so it, the scrub is like kind of liquidy. Ah. Oh. Gosh, I'm going to have to put this on mute. Twitter is going crazy. Twitter, I tell ya. Don't have to be. Stand. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Is it. Are you saying Stan like South Park? Like I Stan? Like the South Park episode? Like what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know what that means. The middle tart? Okay. I'm still trying to scrub my lips. <laughs> no, he's supposed to yell, what's the sitch, Wade? What's the sitch, Wade? Come on. I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm going to stop using it right now. It's too, like, liquidy and not scrubby enough. It just makes me feel gross. I don't like it. So now I'm going to try the Agave Lip Balm. Paul of the Chuckle Brothers. That's sad, but I don't know who that is. I can't. Oh no! A skunk got under your double wide. That's guys, chill. That's bad. Okay, so kind of like from South Park. Like I stand. Yeah, got it. That's that's how I'm gonna relate it. Because, like, I stand for my cause. Has anyone even seen that South Park episode and know what I'm talking about? I've seen, like, every South Park episode ever, by the way. I like this lip balm. The lip balm, I like. This scrub, mm -mm, don't recommend it. Hi, Patricia. Welcome. Thanks for coming. I'm just testing some samples and dropping them. Let's see if I can get it with my foot. Can I? I got it. I just tested the Agave Lip Balm by Bites, and now I'm about to try a lippy from Tarte. Yes! Jen, exactly. All the causes. And the bracelets, all the bracelets. I think you guys said the middle one from Tarte, right? This one right here. Thank you, Ben. Oh, ooh, dropping more things. That's okay. That's okay. Can get it later. Thanks for coming, Kira. Bye. <laughs> yeah, the, the member berry storyline kind of drug on a lot. And then it was like, I feel like it was never really concluded. Like, whatever happened. I, I, I still don't get the member berries.
Okay, so this one is called Bounce, and let me just get my lip brush. I don't even know if it's a lip brush. It's just a tiny brush I have that I use for my lips from Crown. I don't want to apply a liquid lipstick with my fingers. Okay, so it's not just me. They didn't explain it. Okay, I really like this color. You guys picked a nice color to go with my purple eyes. I just got liquid lipstick all over my teeth, but Kun and Friends is like the best. It is so amazing. And he was the one who was actually a superhero. That's the awesome thing. Mint Berry Crunch. Um, that's drying really fast and getting all over my teeth at the same time. And I'm not very good with a lip brush. I think I got it. Okay. What do you guys think? Uh... I think it already looks like crackly and emphasizing the dryness in my lips, even though I just put a balm on. <sighs> I don't know. And my lips are kind of like sticking together. What is this formula? is the Tartist lip paint. So the original lip paint. A million candles, good idea when you have a skunk. That's a great idea. Oh, let me get really close and you guys can like look at my lips. Uh, I know you wanna look at my lips up close and tell me if I'm crazy, but I think they look all like crackly and dried even though I have a bomb underneath this <sighs> put more bomb on on top good idea let me do that All your tart lip paints dry up like that. Yeah, I can't stand a super dry formula. It doesn't feel good or look good. Hi, Ella. Did I already say hi? I'm just reading through, and I think I might have said hi. Maybe I didn't. So, hi, welcome. That is bringing some life back to it, putting the bomb on top. That looks a lot better. Now it feels all thick and heavy though because I have like two layers of bomb <laughs> and a lipstick. Oh wow, the old ColourPop mattes used to get so dry they would tear my lips. I had to stop wearing them, but the new formula is amazing. I've never tried their liquid, like original liquid lipstick formula. I've tried their satin. I think it was their satin formula I tried and I didn't like it. 
And that was like two, three years ago, two, two years ago. And so I never really wanted to try any other lip products. You can tell from there, Stephanie, that it looks better. That's, that's good. So that's how everything looks, all the samples. Um, I would say the lip paint is a no-go for me just because I don't like dry formulas. I don't like having to put in extra work to make them work. And the opal um, powder highlight is a no-go for me because it's a dark stripe. But the liquid highlight I found very nice. And maybe I would get a Becca liquid highlight if they have a lighter shade than opal. And the orgasm blush. Remember one time I was working or at work wearing Bieber and I yawned. Ow! So Ben says, are shades of blue the ones you prefer the most? I wouldn't say blue is what I prefer the most. I like variety. Like, I'm the kind of person where my favorite color changes from, like, month to month. I don't have a, a steady favorite color, and I always like to switch up. Unless you're talking about my wardrobe, and then it's, like, gray and black, and that's my favorite. But makeup or everything else. Oh, hi, Giggles! Welcome! Thanks for coming! I was just wrapping up all of the samples um, that I had used and going over them. So, yeah, I I would say I like blue, but it's it's not my favorite right now, but it might be my favorite again later. So this NARS blush I really like. I think I'm going to see what colors they have and maybe get one in a different color, depending on if it's still on my face when I go to bed tonight. If it's still on my face when I go to bed tonight, yes. If it's not on my face when I go to bed tonight, then it's not worth it. And then the Bite Agave Lip Balm and Lip Scrub. I did not like the scrub. It was too liquidy with not enough scrubbies, and it just was like a mess all over my mouth. And the lip balm feels really thick and heavy and nice, and I like it. Bye, Jen. Thanks for coming. It was so fun having you here talking about <laughs> sex in South Park. Okay, so where was I? Um, the Fenty Foundation. Where'd you go? The Fenty Foundation. I mean, it's nice, but it's not blowing my mind. Like, I normally don't have settling in these lines right here because they're not very deep. They're super shallow. I normally have settling up here, though, but not here. And I have settling. I don't know if you can see in my smile lines. So uh, I, don't, I don't think it's a purchase. I think it's a pass. Yes, you need that on it. I would wear that shirt. I would so wear that shirt. Okay, and then lastly, the, well, not, I have one more thing after this, but the primer, I think it felt nice, but the scent concerns me, and I'm worried that over time, my skin would get irritated from the fragrance that's in here, and it didn't help with any of my issues like fine lines or, you know, it didn't really counteract my redness or anything like that. So I, I think this is a pass as well. Ella, I've been wanting to try the Born This Way concealer so bad, but I keep forgetting to make a trip to Ulta so I can like get my shade figured out because I don't want to just it's really expensive I don't want to just order online and guess 
but I really want to try that concealer too. But this foundation, I think, is not meant for dry skin because it is not, it's just kind of like sitting on top and, you know, separating around my lines and all that. It's not looking good. So the last thing I tried tonight was this Gourmand Girls Bronzer. And I really don't have an opinion on it just because the color was so light. I couldn't really see it on my skin. So I, I don't know whether it blended well or anything like that. So I think I'm going to give this to my super fair sister and let her have a go at it. That, that was everything. We can hang out and chat if you guys want. But that was all I had planned for tonight. What do you guys think of all those samples that I tried? Looks awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Are you going to buy any of them for yourself, Ben? <laughs> I think you look really, really pretty, Ben, with the orgasm blush. I think it'd really complement your tan skin. Ella, I don't know if you're the same as me, but I have like multiple Sephora's, multiple Ulta's in my town, but I always order online. Like every time I order online, it's just so hard for me to like make a specific trip to go in store when it's so easy to order online. So that's why I haven't gone. I'm, I might maybe go like tomorrow or Monday, maybe, probably not, probably not. <laughs> oh hi it's okay my dog's laying at my feet he's so cute yeah it'll look real good Ben I know it Sephora I think has like shipping options where you can do like two-day shipping if you pay more or two-day shipping if you like pay like their ten dollar flash program uh but regular shipping for both sephora and ulta i think is like five to seven business days so it's a reasonable amount of time but not like buying things on amazon prime or anything Hi, Dustin. Thanks for coming. You missed me trying all the samples. Now we're just chatting. I mean, I still have all the samples on my face so you can see how they look, but <sighs> I already went over everything. Oh, no, you weren't notified. Dang, YouTube. Dang, YouTube. Ella, I know I'll go for a concealer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you usually end up spending way more than you plan when you go in store and see stuff in person and can touch it and play with it. And, oh, it's so pretty. Yeah. Like I have a, uh, how does this lipstick keep coming off on my teeth? Is it that lip balm? I have a hair stuck to my mouth and I can't grow it. Mm, and now it's spreading. Ooh, a road trip to the lake. I want to do that. Or did you say the lake? Yes, to the lake. I want to do that. I haven't been to the lake all summer. 
I'm so bummed. And I don't think I'm going to get to go to the lake because summer's like almost over. I have been on a water slide, so that was fun. My friends, they own a giant inflatable water slide, and for their birthdays, because they're sisters and their birthdays are like a month or so apart, they have a joint birthday party, and they inflate the water slide, and it's this big thing, and everyone goes on the slide, and it's really fun. Hi, Janet. Thanks for coming. So what is everybody up to tonight? Ruger, come here. Come say hi. Come here. Thank you, Ben. Normally, I like kisses from him, but when I have lipstick on, I don't want him to eat the lipstick, so I avoid the kisses. Hmm. Yeah, he he's a big baby, that's for sure, Destin. Look at that face. He's a big baby. The other one is a grumpy old man. He's only eight. Uh... Apis is, he's the one in the picture on the wall, uh, but he's so grumpy. Watching the storm come in, I always like watching storms, especially if they have a lot of lightning. I love watching those kind of storms. Your dogs are grumpy old men, Dustin. <laughs> Hi, baby. I'm gonna grab the other one real quick so he can say hi, the grumpy one. I'll be right back. Come here. Come here. <laughs> oh, your dogs are big babies, okay. This is my other baby, my grumpy old man, Apis. <laughs> Oh, why you look, you look so lost. Why are you so confused? Doesn't that portrait look exactly like him? Like this one right here looks exactly like him. Kristen did such a good job. Such a good job. I'll put you down. I know that's what you want. So have your watch hours been going up, Destin? I see you been doing a lot more lives. They should be going up. Yay! I'm glad they went up because that's really low. <laughs> oh, I keep knocking the table. I'm sorry, guys. That probably is very jarring. My bad. Of course, your lives are fun. I love chatting and hanging out with you and Evan. I just wish like that he would let you do his makeup or something. That would be so fun. Bye, Lacey. It was so good to see you. I hope to see you again soon. In bear, yeah.
It was pretty low. I mean, I felt like I was low because I was under a thousand, but not quite that low. You're trying to talk up doing his makeup. I've done my fiance's makeup like so many times, but there's no way he would let me do his makeup on camera. He he is so camera shy. He won't let let me do anything. Like he won't do my makeup. He won't do like a Q&A. He won't do anything on camera. Yay! Well, have a good night. And that was just Jennifer. She says she's coming. She's on her way. that? Oh, game alert. Yeah, it sucks. I'm, I mean, I'm sure eventually I'll be able to talk him into it, but right now he's just like too camera shy. He will not get on camera and do anything with me. So we have three people in the chat. Who's all here? Got. Oh, when did Ben leave? Did Ben say bye? Ben's gone. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Ella. It's always so sad when you lose a family member like that. Thanks, Justin. That was nice of you. I kind of want to like wipe this off and start playing with more makeup. <laughs> is, is, is that a bad idea? Okay, I'm going to wipe this off and start playing with more makeup. You guys can see my bruise and everything. I'm going to wipe one half so it'll be like the power of makeup. Makes you happy to see other dogs that look like him? Well, that's good. <laughs> there, the power of makeup. Hi, Bridget. That's okay. I'm, I'm starting over. I'm going to keep going and I'm starting over. I'm wiping off my face. Okay, see you in a second, Dustin. Yeah, it was a pretty lip color, but it was so drying. It was so drying. I did not like it at all.
Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna start with the eyes. And you guys can help me create a look. So I'm just starting with my urban. Yay, Dustin. Um, I'm just priming my eyes because I'm going to start with my eye look. Hi, Jennifer. Yay, you came. I just wiped off all of my makeup and I'm starting over. Because <laughs> I'm crazy like that and I wanted to start over uh, so set the primer yeah well I I was hanging out with these guys and I didn't know what to talk about so I was like hey why don't I just start another look so I'm starting another look I didn't even take any selfies of that one, so I can't, like, make a thumbnail of that. Oh, well. But I was going to play with my Born to Run palette because I haven't played with it very much, and it's super new to me. Uh, the original Urban Decay Primer Potion. And then I just set it with my banana powder. Um, and the Zodiac liquid shadows from ColourPop, so I wanted to create something with those. And the colors of the liquid shadows, because I have used these one time so far, are this gold and this like pinky champagne color. And then we have all of these colors. So what color do you think I should use in the crease transition-y area to go with these guys? I'm kind of thinking Stole Shot, this peachy one right here. <laughs> I said, what color do you think I should use in the crease transition area to go with these guys? I was kind of thinking Still shot right here, this peachy color. Um, but I'll I'll let you guys sound in. I'll put it real close. The peachy color. Okay. Grab my eye brushes. I forgot those. Well, I'm no expert, Ella, but hang around and you'll learn something from me because I do a lot of eye looks. So I'm just taking a fluffy brush and fluffing that in and above the crease. Yeah, it's a super pretty palette. <sighs> I haven't decided quite where I want to go with it, but figured a peachy crease is a good place to start. Well, I'm glad you made it to Nask it safely, Jennifer. Ben, you're back. Okay. So I think maybe what I want to do is I either want to do a look where it's like deep out here with like the dark brown or the black or the dark purpley color and this on the lid, or I want to do like a more warm bronzy look with these colors 
and do a gold wing with this. So what do you guys think? Do you think, like, the, the more, like, smoky neutral look with this on the lid or, like, the warm bronzy look with a gold wing? Oh, I keep hitting the table. Yes, Ben, you are the only guy in here, unless Justin is still in here, which I don't think he is. I think he left. Let me look. Yes, you're the only guy in here. And excuse me for that burp. Bronzy with a gold wing. Okay, so then we are going to go in to Good As Gone. This sort of satiny color. No, I said Justin left, not you left, Ben. This color, this color is so pretty, Ella. What's your name on Instagram? I I follow like a ton of people. Ah, well, you're a good dad, Ben. Okay, and then I'm just going to take the fluffy brush with no extra product and blend those two colors together. Kylie, that sounds so familiar. That sounds so familiar. I think I do follow you on Instagram. Is green your favorite color, Ben? So there, that's nice and blended together. I'm just going to take, okay, should I take double life or should I take smog? So this one, I'll, I'll swatch them. So we have double life. And then smog. Smog. Okay. Smog it is. So... Not this brush. Where'd it go? I'm not going to wet it at first. I'm going to see what it looks like. Just putting that all over the lid. I think I'm going to, I'm going to wet it. Oh, whoops. I dipped into the wrong color. Got to wipe it off. That's better. This is the Born to Run palette by Urban Decay. 
What do you think of smog, your guys' choice? I think maybe I'm going to take some black and deepen up the outer corner when I'm done applying it to the other eye before I go in with the gold wing. I think. Yeah, I think I want some black. So I'm just taking a teeny tiny blending brush and going into Jet. I'm just fluffing that on the outer corner. Thank you, Dustin. Thanks for sharing those links, Ben. Okay, then I'm just going to take this fluffy brush again and sort of smooth everything out, make it all seamless. And let that make my life go. Clean up the fallout and the outer edge. And that. Oh, thank you, Ella. Um, it, I would say, has, like, a medium amount of fallout. Like, it's not extreme, but it's definitely there. Thank you, Ben. Okay. My eyes are totally not symmetrical, but that's okay, because they're not naturally symmetrical anyway. And it's late at night, and who cares? It washes right off. Um, where is my eyeliner brush? I'm always losing that thing. Oh, well, I, I have a, oh, there it is. <laughs> like you got punched in the eye. I don't know about that. I mean, Jennifer did a black smoky look based on one of my tutorials, and she looked like she was ready to go out to dinner on a fancy date, but not a black eye. And Jennifer is a beginner for sure with makeup. Okay, I'm just cleaning this brush off because it's got some black eyeliner on it. You were so fancy looking. I'm sure, I'm sure you're just being too critical on yourself. I'm sure it's not that bad. So then I'm going to take Astrology the liquid or supernova shadow from ColourPop and I'm just covering my little liner brush in it.
What do you guys think of that gold? I really like how it looks. That looks nice. I'm going to try and wing it out. I mean, if it's looking like a black eye, it, it might be the brushes. You might need more detailed brushes if you have really small eyes. I need to get the mirror a little closer to get this really sharp. Oh, uh, yeah, hooded eyes are definitely hard to work with for sure. I have just like on my outer corner a little bit of a hood so that has made learning how to do a wing difficult i i can only imagine with like a whole the whole thing being hooded how hard it is to learn Ooh, Beach has some pretty good brushes. Especially for the price. I think they're even now. Oh, I just got eyeshadow in my hair. <laughs> yeah, BH, the prices of everything they have, it's so affordable. It's crazy. It's like, how can they make it this affordable? And it's actually decent. All right, so that is the look you guys helped me come up with. Yes, I do always see that my hair is gold. <laughs> I always make a mess. Let's make a wipe it. <sighs> should I keep going? Should I do a full face? Or should I just, like, do my eyes and call it good? Because I could just do the lower lash line and call it good. All my wings are totally different angles. Oh, well. Oh, well. Yeah, this one goes like this, and this one goes like this. <sighs> Up to you. Well, you guys want to hang out? Because I can end the stream if, if everybody's tired. Oh, my gosh. Um, if, if you have not gotten the eyeshadow palettes from them, you need this eyeshadow palette. The Weekend Festival palette. It is amazing quality, so good, and it's limited edition, but they still have it in stock, so you should get it now, like, while it's still available, because it came out in, like, April or something. Thank you, Ella. Thank you. Yeah, this is, like, my favorite thing from BH Cosmetics. 
Yay, I'm so excited. You're going to have it, Jennifer. You're going to love it because it's not just like a colorful rainbow palette. It has neutrals in it. So you can do like an everyday neutral look and you can do a rainbow look or any color look you want. Thanks, Dustin. They came with free brushes? That's so cool. Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna do the lower lash line because this is feeling like incomplete to me. I'm just putting a little eye primer since I don't have concealer or anything down. What blush would I pair with those eyes? I would either do like a peachy or a nude, like, uh, let me grab a couple. So the ones out of my collection that are single blushes that I would pair with it would be the Essence Satin Touch in Satin Love, which is this like pinky nude blush. And then Bare Minerals Gen Nude That Peach though, one of my favorite blushes and look how nice that would look. And then I, I should have held up the Essence one so you could see how that would look with these eyes. So that would be more of a neutral look. And then the last one would be Urban Decay's Score, which is like this really glittery, like springy blush. Those would be the ones I'd pair with it. You don't have any videos on your channel? You better get on that. Bridget's back. Oh, that's awesome. It came with all those freebies. I love, I love shopping on the beach website. I feel like I always get something free. So for the lower lash line, I'm going to take this tiny little brush and go in with good is gone that darkest brown we used or why do people who do their makeup including me always say we like I'm the only one doing my makeup why am I saying we like like you're doing it with me I'm so crazy You must work at, like, some late restaurant, Bridget, because <laughs> I, I don't know what time zone you're in, but a lot of restaurants are, are closed by now. Yeah, exactly, Jennifer. Like, now we're going to do this. Now we're going to put this here. I'm just running this, like, directly on my lashes. Like, almost on my waterline, but not quite. funny, Ella. Well, you're, you're there till midnight, Bridget? Wow. That sucks. That really sucks. Then I'm going to take that peachy color we started with, which is Still Shot. I just did it again! <laughs> Pro 
having that every week, Ben, but maybe every couple of weeks I'll, I try and do lives, but every week, like, I've, I've got, I've got a life, I, I got stuff going on, and I don't have, unfortunately, time to go live on a weekly basis. Ooh, I like that. I like that. And this is just a pencil brush, by the way. Because it kind of blended away up here, so bringing it back down here, I really like that, like, hint of peach. I like that a lot. Okay, so inner corner highlights. Let's, what do you guys think? Do you guys think I should go all in and go for, uh, the gold or should I go for like one of the lighter colors? So this is the gold color stranded. This is the really light color breakaway. And this is like the duochrome gold pinky color, um, blaze. So, oh, uh, for inner corner. You can't really see those other two. Let me re re swatch them. There. Now you can see them. So you you think the gold one, the duochrome one. So blaze stranded breakaway. Two votes for the duochrome one. Okay, we're going with blaze. I'm gonna spray this. And I cannot aim. <laughs> For chrome? You mean dual chrome, Ben? You think, Bridget? I think it looks really nice with this eye look. The little wrench means they're a moderator, and if a troll comes in, a pervert comes in, they can kick them out, they can shut them up. <laughs> I like your explanation, Bridget. <laughs> he keeps all the tools from the chat. <laughs> so there, that is my completed impromptu look with the Born This Way, where'd the Supernova Shadow go? Born This Way palette and the Astrology Supernova Shadow. I like tools better, Bridget. It's super funny. Super funny.
well, uh, I just totally spaced out. Sorry, guys. I, I don't know what was going on in my brain. I was just spacing out. <laughs> uh, so did did you guys want to hang out while they do a full face or? Yes, Bridget, I'm so excited for Monday. I've never been on like, okay, well, one time I was on five minutes of fame on I am a creator. So I've been on like a kind of a panel in from five minutes of fame. But I haven't really ever been on like a multi person live. <laughs> you notice that I zoned out. Oh, Drat. <laughs> you were on five minutes of fame, Bridget. That's awesome. What's what's the shocked face for? What are you so shocked for? I'm confused. <sighs> uh 7 p.m. Eastern, I think. So that's like 5 p.m. my time. So 4 p.m. your time. Oh, that's excitement. Okay, to me it looks like like shocked faces, like, oh my god. <laughs> Okay, well, while I have a few people on here, let me get an opinion really quick. So, <laughs> I have two. Two of them lit. This rack is so awesome. And it was like 30 bucks from Amazon. Like not super expensive. So I do a series. Uh, I'm sure most of you know. I have several series called something, something, something. Something new is where I take my brand new palettes that came into my collection recently, whether they're new or they're a couple seasons old, they're new to me. And I create three looks with those and create a video with it. I have a ton of new palettes, so I want feedback on what ones I should do videos on. I am for sure I already am planning the looks and getting this one ready for the ColourPop Zodiac palette. But I have all these new palettes. I don't know if people want to see three looks with them. Like, is it overdone? Do they even care? Ella, if you go to my makeup, like how much makeup do I have vanity tour video that I did a couple weeks ago, I have the nail polish rack, I believe, linked in that video, like the exact one, if you want that one. So what do you guys think about the Norvina palette? Like, do you care? Is it overdone? Do you want to see three looks with this palette? I mean, you can definitely get more than three looks with this palette. So it's totally doable. This palette is so random, but... I have created some really beautiful looks with it. Like the colors, Bridget, I understand why you're on the fence because it's like these are really weird colors to put together, but they work and it's so nice. Okay. So, yes, three looks video on this one. All right, let's move on to the next one. So, whoops. I already did one on this one. You can put that one back. Okay, so then I also got the Arabesque palette, which is the dupe for the Soft Glam palette. So it's like super neutral. So
Dustin, are you talking about the arabesque or the no Norvina? Yeah, mine are so dirty. I need to wash them too. I just keep like spot cleaning them. Both? Okay, so... Yeah, but for three neutral looks, like, do you guys need three neutral looks with this? I'll, I'll set it down and let you think about that and reach for the next one. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. So then the next one is the TARDIS Pro. Looks like this. It is, like, I think it maybe came out, like, two years ago, at least a year ago, but it's a permanent item. So I got it for my birthday and yeah, it's new to me. Yes, please on the TARDIS Pro. Okay. Cause this one you can definitely do a lot with. It has warm, it has cool, it has all these shimmers with this interesting one right here. Look at that duochrome. So cool. So, yes to the TARDIS Pro. All right. And then I left a couple out because I don't think I can do three very different looks with them because they're mo kind of monochromatic palettes. So this is the last new palette. You've seen me use it tonight. So do you want a whole video with multiple looks on it? I mean, I, I just, if people don't care about seeing it because there's been 500 videos or 5,000 probably videos done on it already, I won't beat a dead horse. You haven't used it, Ben? <laughs> well, I don't think I've ever seen you in eyeshadow, so I'm not surprised. So we have mixed, mixed thoughts on this one. How about like it get ready with me, like one look with this instead of a something new on this, like one really dramatic look kind of like this or something with this palette. Okay. Thank you. This was really helpful, guys, because I didn't know I got so many palettes in June, July from all my orders coming in for my birthday. I just not known what to do a video on. And Bridget, this should be coming in like two weeks. Um, this week. I'm planning on doing a drugstore, like, school slash work appropriate makeup tutorial. So I want to get that up since a lot of people are already back to school or going back to school. I want to get that up as soon as possible. So who here, quick question, who here watched today's video of the false eyelashes? Yeah, but Destin, a lot of schools don't start until September, so I think you're still within the range and time period to do it. Okay, well, I was just wondering if anybody who watched it, like, literally LOL'd at me dancing, because while I'm waiting for my lash glue to dry, I'm dancing all over the place. Okay. 
Even college in Texas already started, Ella? Because college is starting here, like, next week. I'm going to see if I can show you guys really quick. Just a little clip of me looking like an idiot. I, I just thought it was funny. That's why I left it in. I like to laugh at myself. Yeah, I thought it was funny me just bouncing around. <laughs> I love your bloopers, Destin. They are so funny. I love your bloopers. <laughs> See, Dustin, Ella says school in New York doesn't start until September, so there's still people that a back-to-school makeup look is relevant for. <laughs> Boys! My fiancé and my roommates just got home. I can hear them upstairs, and my dogs are starting to go a little crazy knowing that people are here. Boys, enough. Which is probably my cue to go now that I'm not alone in the house and people are home. <coughs> Guys, quiet. <laughs> anyway, if you can hear me over my barking dogs, thank you all for coming to my live and helping me figure out what palettes to do videos on. Yes, definitely still make one, Destin. So thank you guys for coming, and I will see you guys later. Bye.